Chin up. Hey. Man, Dark could see me now, but they'd be livid. Hi, how are you? Yes, I heard it was a good man. A moon is passing, and the debt well won. I have no choice but to believe you. Is your payment wayfarer? Let's not speak about this again. Our business is concluded. In fact, it never happened. Who's the next batch? What is it? I'm raring to go. Yeah, yeah, I guess I trust you. All right, I'll sign. Miller. Sorry, I ain't cursive. That's all, is it? Yep. Yeah? Nice haircut. Sunrise is earlier when you're out dancing. What's up? What's the petition for? You saved my life. Of course I'll sign it. Eat. Davies. Nice one. Anything else I can do for you? See you, mate. The rhythm and the harmony. One without the other is just flat. That's why I can only listen to Roundel Radio.
Powering up. Protectron on duty. My favorite mule. I have much for you to carry.
Mind the gap and all that. Greetings, civilian. Can I help you? Anything you need? You lost. We would stay like this forever. May the canyon bless you. I don't like your clothes. Wouldn't you feel better wearing them? Capital of Blighty, this. <laughs> what a mess. Ah, a friend. Apologies. The canyon wanted me to test you before we began. Welcome to Brickton. I am Roach. You may think of me as a leader, but I merely embody the canyon's desire. Before we begin, I must ask, why is a raven like a writing desk? Ah, an intelligent answer. Now, how may I help you? Why are you wearing clothes? Because someone told you to? Because someone forced you to? I am merely following my instincts. The one thing the canyon gave me in her infinite wisdom. Like you, I come from the canyon. And I shall return to it once my days are over. But I know that's not what you want to know. The truth is, I don't remember who I was before I became Roach. I wanted a clean start, so I erased my memory through a mix of hallucinogenics and minor head wounds. And I'd do it again, if I remembered the recipe. The Tommies think they're here to civilize us, simply because we don't follow their beliefs and codes. But tell me, what worth is there in an ideology? that has destroyed the world ten times over and left it to rot. I would take dying from preventable diseases a thousand times over destroying the world with my ignorance. The outsider supposes their toes is a rosies, but the outsider supposes erroneously. That is the name so kindly gifted to us by the Tommies, alongside the mother of all headaches. That reminds me of an important question. What came first? The chicken or the egg? You're perfect. I have a job for you. Listen well. The Tommies have been attempting to contact an isolated tribe in nearby Croydon. We hoped they'd abandon the idea once they realised the path was blocked by two large gaps. But no. Instead, they were emboldened, and their mighty Lieutenant Doyle sent an expeditionary force. Two soldiers, one second lieutenant and a few Bricktonians, who were there to build bridges, literally and metaphysically. Except those plans failed when the half-built bridges collapsed, plunging all but two of my tribe's people into the river of lava. You can see where this is going, right? The start of war? No. Never in a million years would we request such a thing. On the contrary. Lieutenant Doyle blames Brickton for the incident and has vowed to raise our taxes to make up for this incident. Taxes we never agreed to pay. We seek nothing but peace. 
And so we beseech you, go to Lieutenant Doyle and convince him to choose peace. My tribe's dealings with the Tommies are far more important at the moment. Yes? May the Kenyon bless you with luck. I see strange storm clouds in your... There's nothing like the sound of nature during a lazy afternoon. May the canyon guide you. Don't go quiet. You can count on that. It is impolite to curse, but I wish those Tommies would bugger off. Oh, how I wish we could stay like this forever. for something to give you a little boost. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got just a thing. Not just this stuff you thought of pharmacy, you know? I'm working on some real here top-notch games. That'll give you a real kick. You interested? Yeah? And so what? Not like they had great lives to begin with, is it? I wish I could make the Queen. Oi! G'day there, mate. Lovely day for a walkabout, eh? My wife ran off with a Spanish fella, and I heard they were camping around here. Have you seen them? <laughs> I'm just pulling your tit, mate. That's not why I'm out here. My wife's dead. Yeah, captured by slavers and forced to work in radiation fields until her skin sloughed off her bones like wax paper. Oh, I miss her every damn day. Nah, <laughs> I got you again, you bloody drongo. That's not how she died. It was just run-of-the-mill colon cancer. Anyway, after she kicked it, I got a job out here as a border guard. Name's Woodward, by the by. Not really, no. Spend most of me days staring off into space, watching the bush telly. Every now and again a ghoul will wander down the old road there and give me some target practice. But most of the time, I can kick back and crack a coldy, because it's quiet as a baby cemetery out here. Speaking of cracking coldies, you look like the rough and tumble sort. Maybe you can help me out. You see, the only way a man stays sane watching this godforsaken border all hours of the bloody day and night is with a little help from some coldies, a nutty mag or two, and a metric fuck-ton of amphetamines to stay awake. Problem is, I haven't seen a trader come through here in weeks, and I'm running mighty low on all three. I've been manning this post for long enough to know that means a new gang of bloody assholes has moved into the old radar station down in Wandsworth, and a bushwhacking trader's headed this way. 
If you could go and clear out whatever aggro cunts occupying the radar so the traders can deliver my supplies, I'd be mighty grateful. I'd certainly make it worth your while. Well, I've told you just about all I know about this lot in particular. I haven't been able to leave my post. But I will say that radar station is like a magnet to nutty cunts that are typically madder than a cut snake. The one time I've been there, the whole bloody place was messier than a dog's breakfast. Just blood and viscera and whatever mad cunts had lived there before strewn about every which way. Needless to say, I had a bit of a liquid laugh at the sight of it. Just a bloody cherry on top of that shit Sunday. But that's just how that hellhole is. A gang of mad cunts moves in, stays a while, then a new gang of even madder cunts moves in and slaughters the old ones. What a bloody mess. Fuck, I need a fucking smoke. You absolute beauty. God bless you, mate. You know where to find me when the job's done. Where did you come from? I'll go nap whilst you play with your toys. God save our gracious queen. Long live our noble queen. Strange storm clouds in your horizon. Be careful. You'd have to be insane to take on the Tommies. Stand down. Wait, you're not one of us. Who are you? That's not for me to decide. But, having taken a quick glance, I think we could make something out of you. I'd stop by the Imperial War Museum. Unless you're a rabble-rouser. In which case, don't. I'm Lieutenant Doyle, 
of the Brixton Division. What am I doing? I'm the one who's asking the questions here. Another one, huh? You can tell the people of Brixton the same thing I've told them countless times myself. Either they own up to their mistakes and establish contact with the Croydonians, or we'll be raising the tithe by 20% this year. And God knows what else we'll have in store for next year. Two brave soldiers. Privates Clarkson and... Whitterford, I believe. And, of course, my friend, Second Lieutenant Buckley. Their lives now lost forever. As part of Her Majesty's beautiful country, it is their duty to pay their fair dues and participate in our laws. Isolation is no longer an acceptable excuse for inaction. Yes, that's precisely what I said. Switch on, won't you? Now, is there anything else I can do to stop you from wasting my time? Nonsense. It was their bridge that collapsed and claimed the lives of my men. As far as I see it, taxes are a small price to pay for their crime. As part of her magic isolation... <sighs> Anything else? On the double, then. Move it! Rule Britannia. Britannia rule the ways. Britons never, never, never... Shall be slaves. Hello, human. How are you today? It's always a pleasure to see you. Can you believe this was once the heart of an empire?
What the hell was that? Trying to sneak up. That's over with. Great. More goons to deal with. You to trifle with Kira the Invincible.
Yakuza. I swear I must be losing it. Well, aren't you a sight for sober eyes? What's the word then, mate? Can I be expecting shipment soon? <laughs> you absolute beauty, mate! I'm so bloody happy I could kiss you. Thanks heaps for helping me out. Here's a little something for your troubles. Bless you.
You know that birds aren't real, right? They're hiding birds, spying on us.
Indeed. That is who I am. Reporting for duty, as always. Ah, I'm afraid. Well, it's quite the tale. Lieutenant Doyle sent us with orders to build the bridges and contact the Croydonians. But he didn't prepare us for the arduous task ahead. During the construction of the first bridge, two Brixtonians died and fell into the lava. Poor souls. May they find eternal rest in God's bosom. I took Private Clark and Whitford ahead to survey the area. But when we returned, the bridge and the Brixtonians were gone. That makes sense. A likely story, all things considered. I assume they blame us for the death of their fellow tribespeople and saw this as retribution. Perhaps we are. That is our burden to yield. But if you're rear, that means the bridge is back up. I'll send Clark back to Doyle, and I'll wait for you to build that second bridge. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, God's light shines through you. We are all God's children. I'll pass no judgment. Not even on primitive minds. He's firm. Too firm. But he cares for his men. And that is the most I can ask of any superior officer. I assume Lieutenant Doyle wants you to finish the job and build the second bridge to Croydon, up ahead. If you need more resources, you'll find them inside the tunnels. Watch out. Dangerous creatures lie ahead. If I was to return before the job was done, I'd be bringing shame to my squad mates and to my country. My faith has brought me back here and kept me alive. It's only thanks to he that I can still fight. When I was young, my family was ravaged by disease. Took my brother, my mother. She prayed day and night. I was spared. A miracle, she said. I decided not to waste that miracle. Join the Tommies as soon as I could. Go with God, my friend. Smells like cat's liver. Sustenance here. 
of all shapes and forms. We are resolute and joyous. Dost thou not know? Ah, mine own father inseminated my mother. Or art thou referring to coin itself? If be true, then your tale is for sooth and lost to time. As a foreigner, thou hast the power to reach places our hands cannot. Ark, our ancient books describe a magical artifact known as Prospero's Book. A description lying at the start of our texts. It names a globe. Happily the book be there. Name inscribed on the first page of our texts. Aptly its location. We shall distribute undue excess. And each man will have enough. To think, perchance to dream. Our own name is Reese. I concur with my father's decision. I lead my own people by divine choice. I define the leadership to be my own purpose. Speak, to think, perchance to dream. But you, Mercutio, I have too grieved a heart to take a tedious leave. The bridge, I wonder who shall leave the town. What sayest thou? How goes your work? Has a second bridge been built? Another tribe joins our great nation. Truly a day for the history books. You have not only done a good job, but also service the Tommies dutifully. For this, I'm giving you this written commendation. It's a fine prize. For a fine man. The Tommies will be proud to have you. Not just that. I'm also giving you the stim packs we brought along with us, just before the bridge collapsed. I believe you need them more than us. We'll head back to Brixton now. May God guard your path, my friend. These tunnels are no laughing matter. I wish I could meet the Queen. There you are. The Great Builder. Don't rest on your laurels. We have no time to celebrate. Private Clark told me the truth. I put out a quick warrant for those two lying Brixtonians, and they disappeared. Do these people think I'm a fool? I'll tax them into hell. 
See if they're still laughing then. Fine. I'll show these people what true courage looks like. You tell that madman Roach no more taxes. His people can hold on to their meager tickets for now. But I'll be watching them. I'll civilize Brixton if it's the last thing I do. That's not for me to decide. But having taken a quick glance, I think we could make something out of you. I'd stop by the Imperial War Museum, unless you're a rabble rouser, in which case, don't. On the double then, move it! God save our gracious queen. Long live our noble queen. Raises off. The canyon was right. You were. The Tommies have informed me the tax raises off. The canyon was right. You were, are, and shall be our salvation. Here, 300 tickets. A part of what we would have paid to Doyle. A part that is now rightfully yours. the lie and the runaways. I've known the lie since the start. Apologies for the subterfuge, but I had to keep it a secret. Those people have already gone through so much pain and loss, I had to let them escape. I hope you'll forgive me. The canyon already has. I can sign that for you, yes. You've helped us, so we can indeed help you. May you forever walk in the canyon's path. Earth be with you. is immensely satisfying. Of 
foot soldier, born for war, a war that never ends. Smythe's war, I work for the man you seek. He doesn't speak with people unless it benefits him. Which is why you're here. He's a liar, and he deserves to die for the lies he's told. I wasn't given a choice in my occupation. As I said, I was born for this. There are others who would see him dead. Others who work for him. You can help achieve this. That guard over there. I'd need to kill him to set you free. Then, as we make our way to the surface, I'd kill every last person we encountered. Then, Smythe would want to find out who did it. Then, I'm a dead man. Because it's the only way I know how. When you make it out of here, go to the old science museum in Kensington. The director there, Mr. X, has been imprisoned by his own operatives. Find him. Speak to him. A prison. A prison buried in the ground, where the inmates live on borrowed time. Gentry incompetence is all that stands between them and execution. The very thing these people fought against is keeping them alive. Dissidents. Spies. People that make my employer uncomfortable. Your possessions are in a footlocker in the barracks. I'm not a schemer. I have nothing to offer but information. In this cell block, two. In the whole prison, hundreds. Make use of your surroundings. This room is prone to power cuts, but they're too rare to be reliable. Perhaps you can deactivate the power box on my right. Embrace the shadows. Kill a hostage every hour until it turns itself off. How should I know? Whatever you do, don't let the guards trigger the alarm. It's activated on the pillar to my left. Agreed. I wish you success, Wayfarer. doing in my cell I see do you even have a plan I admire your honesty perhaps we can work something out am I any good at opening doors I'm the Jesus fucking Christ of opening doors get me a bobby pin and I'll perform a fucking miracle here and now I'm the gentry's worst nightmare, that's why. I used to steal classified documents from politicians, civil servants, you name it. Publish them clandestinely. Fuck, I was magnificent. Yeah, just come and go as you please. Don't worry about it.
What can I do for you? Ah, that'll do it. Here we go. That's the spot. Almost. Voila! Time to waste. Every minute we spend gabbing is another minute the gentry spend plotting.
check for surveillance devices before we rest. Appeared after their mysterious abduction. Can't believe you actually found that chart of the Middleton. That must have been a dead ache. Be careful out there. Westminster's not what it used to be. Cavaliers and roundheads lurk in the shadows. <laughs> 